New Zealand is an incredible place, one of the most beautiful on earth. It was the least corrupt country of 2009. They export delicious baby sheep. It made Peter Jackson a billionaire and Elijah Wood relevant again. They're Australia without the drinking problem. Wikipedia says their main exports are wood and machinery, but I think they forgot something, racing drivers. Steve Millen was an incredibly successful racing driver. In fact, he was the best in IMSA GT history, and three people in his family are racing drivers. His brother Rod, his son Kyle, and his nephew, Reese Millen. After he retired, he opened Stillen, aka Steve Millen Sport Parts. Now, Steve has raced rally cars, GT cars, trophy trucks, Formula Fords, a Ford GT, and a GTR. Guess what the first cars he tuned were? Mini trucks. You laugh, but now he builds the brakes for the Veyron and McLaren MP412C, and his relationship with Nissan hasn't gone anywhere. That's what we're here today to drive, the Stillen 370Z. Now we are no strangers to Stillen. We've been here before, Steve came on the car show, but the last time I was here, this car was in a bunch of pieces because they were making a body for it. And now it's done, and here's Kyle. What's happening, man? How's it going, Matt? Thanks for you. having me. Thank you for coming back. Nice to see the 370 is done. Yep, yep, all I'm, ready to go. I am uh, very excited to drive this car, I gotta be honest. Drive? Yeah, dude, drive. So, did, did you sign the waiver? The what waiver? No waivers. They didn't get the waiver from you? No, I don't have a waiver. Do you have the insurance? No, what do you think, this is Top Gear? Come on, I'll bring it back in one piece. Come all on. right, Come all on. right, take it easy. I haven't broken anything yet, we're good. <laughs> We did a front fascia for it, our own still in urethane front fascia that we made here in-house. Uh, everything from the design to the manufacture. It's also a pretty trick front fascia. It actually incorporates two oil coolers. It incorporates front fangs for the brake ducting that actually has functional ducts that go to the backing plates of the hub and blow air into the rotors. Uh, it also has a little slit in the underside of the, the top that you can't really see when you're looking at it normally, but that actually directs the airflow into the intakes or in this case, the uh, supercharger intercooler. And it was something that we really spent a lot of time developing. We did everything. We did, you know, wheels and tires and suspension, exhaust and engine improvements. We did the supercharger kit. We did body work and we did everything in that car. And, um, it, it's, it's again, it's a very successful car for us. Well, some people like to just go to the drag track, and that's different. You know, you, you're mostly all concerned about is traction here and a lot of horsepower. But because of my racing background, it's important that you do everything correctly. Get as much aerodynamic help as you can with the car. Good braking, good handling, good drivable horsepower with the supercharger. The whole package to me is, is, is what's important. The whole point of this car is that it's well-rounded. It can be a daily driver, it can be a canyon car, it can be a track car. It could really be all of them at the same time. And I like it because of the balance, because it doesn't feel overdone. There's no weird squeaks or rattles because things have been gutted and rebuilt so many times. There's no strange noises from the suspension because it's a race car. It's a street car. It's just a really good one. such a nice linear power band um, and with the centrifugal supercharger it the boost matches the revs so the harder you rev the engine the more boost you get the more power you get so um, if you just want to cruise around town low rpm not a lot of throttle response it's very very docile but you you start to rev that engine and get into the throttle hard you'll enjoy it There is a lot to like about this car. I mean, the Z is a great platform at the beginning. It's short, it's got a wide stance, rotates really well. But on the other hand, there is plenty of room to improve it from the factory. These things have been widely documented for having really bad cooling issues. I remember when I drove one on the track, it overheated in two laps. Uh, the brakes have been an issue. Fortunately, all that's been handled with this car. We've kept it pretty streetable. That's kind of the whole uh, goal with this car is a rolling billboard of what's capable with all of our parts. So this car has our 50 state legal supercharger with a three year 36,000 mile powertrain warranty. 
Um, so it's pretty mild uh, as far as power goes. It's a little over 500 flywheel. The big thing with us is we like to be able to sell our parts to the dealers around the country and let them install the parts for their customers. We thought it would be a very, very difficult task to get a turbocharged kit um, carb approved, smog compliant. And so that's where, why we went with the route of the supercharger. I also like it because it's kind of inoffensive. It's not like someone's gonna go, hey, ricer, when you're driving this thing. It's not that loud, barely louder than stock. Just a little bit of supercharger hum, which I like. Some of those other blowers now, they're so quiet, you don't even know they're there. I like that, just that little, little air building noise. I like that. I was doing a lot of the endurance testing with the supercharger kit. Um, we'd take it out to the desert, we'd take it up into the mountains, cold weather, hot weather and so on. And, and we actually got better fuel mileage uh, than with the standard engine. Now that's in a situation where you say driving down the freeway at say 70 mile an hour, you, you actually use less throttle pedal because even though it's only got a very low amount of boost at that speed and RPM, it still gets some assistance with, with power. So, you need less throttle uh, input. So um, if you drive it really hard and you're in the gas lot, sure, you're gonna use more gas. But everyday driving on the freeway, it's actually more economical. With a guy like Steve Millen behind it, I trust him. He knows Nissans, he knows Zs, he's raced them. He's raced them very successfully. So when he sells me a complete car and says, here you go, here's a 500 horsepower Z with a 36,000 mile warranty, I, I just trust the guy. New Zealanders are honest people. I know that. They are. They don't want to screw me. They just want me to go faster. I love the turn-in. The turn-in on this car is really direct with the suspension like this. You don't have to use too many inputs. Right here, go in the third, and then just throw it right in. Boom. It's right there. No tire squealing, no problem. two kinds of tuning that I really like. The over-the-top, crazy, thousand horsepower kind and the balanced streetcar kind. And this is definitely the latter. Makes a perfect streetcar. I like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I have to say, after driving it, this car has officially been properly tuned. I really like this car. It's balanced, it's fast, it corners well, it feels solid, and most importantly, it hasn't been screwed up. It's not too stiff and it has power down low so you can drive it around town. I'd like to thank Stillen for letting me drive their car. I'd like to thank Steve and Kyle for appearing on our show. And you can find their parts through Nissan dealers nationwide and in fact in other countries as well. Car tuned with a warranty, what's not to like? If you want to see more of our work, check us out at thesmogentire.com and The Smoking Tire on YouTube. Until next time, I'm Matt Farah, and you've been watching Tuned right here on The Drive Network.